It's my experience that Swedes care a lot what the quality is. It's a rich tradition in arts and crafts and design. I've always respected Scandinavian design, and I think a lot of the design world does. But then, when you live here and you work here, you start to pick up a third dimension, which is the lifestyle and the, the atmosphere and the, the culture. The P1800, it's a handcrafted, very well detailed, very well executed car. We get inspiration from our daily impressions and you cannot help to, to run it through your system and it comes out into your sketching and into your work. Living and working here, we are influenced by society. How we judge things, how we make decisions, all that is of course rooted in how the society thinks. We are not isolated, we are part of the world. But of course what we do is our version, our point of view of it. Now we're coming into a period where you can mix the craftsmanship and detailing with technology and bring the two together. And that's where the XC90 is. It, it's this um, really crafted car, beautiful materials, beautiful detailing, yet it holds the latest technology. grill inspired from the P1800. It's a, it's a beautiful floating execution of it. What the team focuses on is making the person inside the car feel very relaxed and, and tranquil. It's about designing for people. And that nice experience and atmosphere as you're, you're driving. And then added to that is the intelligent architectural design, beautiful details, the comfort. We're looking at the culture of patterns and graphics that have been used in Sweden. They have a story behind them, which is a nice to tell. If you look at the XC90, that basically has some of those very elegant, beautiful flowing lines, but it combines it with this strength and confidence. Having a rear end that actually is so non-fashionable by not going into the width, but actually emphasizing the uprightness in it, that is a, a statement that I love about that car. Tor's hammer, as we call it, the T-shaped daytime running lamp. That's a really strong statement and I'm very happy with that. We like to combine the beauty of the era of the 60s with the power and confidence of the cars of the 70s and 80s. The car itself doesn't overclut the surface just to hide issues like some cars have. That allows us to keep the design very pure. We want to get that feeling across of being proud of our heritage and proud of our design. And that's in that car. I'm proud of Swedish design in general.